So some sunshine being seen out there in Winchester here as we get into the early afternoon hours and we're going to have that mix of sun and clouds the rest of the day and our temperatures have pretty much already reached the highs from yesterday. Oh, we certainly were on the chillier side, you could say, for the middle of August anyway as we went throughout our Sunday afternoon. So we're up to 77 right now. We're likely to warm up a few more degrees well into the 80s across the area the rest of the afternoon. A few locations already there right through the heart of the viewing area, Charlestown, Germantown, Frederick, up into those lower 80s. Elsewhere, all the way around the board, we're talking about those middle and upper 70s that, like I mentioned, are going to become 80s here as we continue to see more sunshine throughout the day. Satellite radar picture, there were a few isolated showers that tried to make their way along the I-81 corridor. That was right out ahead of a frontal boundary that is passing through the area as we speak. Those fizzled out before they got to Interstate 81, and for the time being, things are are quiet, but we still do have that cloud cover out there, and a few storms are likely to fire to the east of I-81 within the next couple of hours, thanks to that boundary. And here's a wider look. Overall, things are quiet across the viewing area, but again, you can see this line of clouds that extends all the way down through much of the mid-Atlantic and northeast, and that is the frontal boundary that is, again, going to create some unsettled weather a little bit later on as our best storm chances again remain through the eastern half of the viewing area as we go throughout the rest of the day today. Now, we have a perfect combination as far as temperatures go for this week. We have an upper level trough that's keeping things a little bit cooler, but high pressure that's going to allow more sunshine to be around. So we're going to have very seasonal temperatures, maybe slightly below that the rest of the week because of that combination. And we'll only have slight rain chances through today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. We'll Looking like a mostly dry week overall, and some areas could certainly use that as we've seen a lot of rainfall of late. But check it out here today. Again, as we approach the 1 to 2 o'clock hour, there's those isolated showers and storms that start to fire up. They'll drift their way through the viewing area, but mostly be to the Chesapeake Bay by about the 5 to 6 o'clock hour. So we only have a few hour window of some precipitation possible as we go throughout the rest of your day today. And then things are going to be very quiet overnight into your Tuesday and stay that way through much of the day on Tuesday. A disturbance will be well to our south. We could see a spotty shower drift into northern Virginia, but likely we are going to have another completely dry day tomorrow for the most part for many of us across the area. And then we're going to have clouds beginning off our Wednesday. And temperature-wise, we're going to be getting back to the 80s this afternoon, and we're still going to have pretty nice overnights, mainly in the lower 60s, a few upper 50s possible. But generally, again, things are going to be that trend of 80s, and 60s through the overnight. So this afternoon, there we go. We'll be up into the 80s. Those showers and storms will start to develop in our eastern counties over the next few hours. And then beyond that, like I mentioned, a very dry week overall. And not a lot is going to be changing. Temperatures in the middle 80s.